Hello everyone and welcome to our Tableau desktop training video provided by Tableau Coach. My name is Kate Strashny and my goal is to help the Tableau user community by creating straightforward training videos. If you enjoy watching these videos, please subscribe so you can be notified of any new videos that we put, put out there. Um, in today's session, we're going to go through every question in the exam preparation guide that's provided on Tableau's website. This is for um, the qualified associate version, Tableau version 9. I hope this will help people who are attempting to obtain the certification. So let's begin. Um, the first two questions that are included, and I'll have them up here on the, on the left-hand side, are knowledge-based, and let's just go through them. Number one, to connect to multiple tables in a single data source at one time, a join must be specified. So the correct answer is C, join. And they, they sort of try to trick you here by including blend, which is not the correct answer since we're only talking about a single data source. Data blending is used when there are multiple data sources. Question number two, Tableau can create worksheet specific filters. True, that's a fact. This is a capability of the um, Tableau software. All right, now we get into the hands-on questions. These questions use the data set sample superstore subset Excel. Um, and this can actually be downloaded from Tableau's website. So I have the questions, as I mentioned, over here on the left hand side. And um, as I work through these, I'm actually going to label each of the worksheets with the question number. And I mentioned this in a previous video that this is actually a good habit to get into, especially when you're taking the exam, because you're actually allowed to skip questions and then go back to them and um, you'll be able to locate where you left off and this would actually help you save time. So let's go ahead and get started with question number three. So what is the percent of total sales for the home office customer segment in July of 2012? All right, so first thing we are going to call this question number three. We're going to take customer segment and we are also going to need to filter on the order date. So we're going to do, go ahead and do that. We're going to select the month and year, and we're going to look for July 2012. So July 2012. All right, we're going to go ahead and apply that. Next thing we need to do is uh, we're going to need to find our sales and measures and go ahead and pop that in. Now, what we're looking for is not the number of sales, but percent of sales. So what we need to do is do a quick drop down here, quick table calculation, percent percent of total. Now, um, now we have the percent of total and we could see for home office, we have 23.97% and that gives us answer B. Let me go ahead and bolt that for you. 